What's up guys, this is Dane from Backcountry Access. I'm going to quickly walk you through how to get your new 2.0 pack set up. The new 2.0 system utilizes a little bit smaller canister. It's because the whole system itself is a bit more efficient. Overall it's 20% lighter and 30% smaller than our 1.0 system. The 2.0 system still utilizes compressed air which is the same as the 1.0 system. So you're going to be very familiar with this setup if you've already used our 1.0 system in the past. We still have our fill port on the side here, uh, the trigger mechanism, and our air connection. Uh, it still is a mechanical trigger, so the same setup as the 1.0 system, but with the system now being contained just inside this airbag compartment here, uh, the setup is a little bit different. So let's walk you through that. All right, so the first step is to get into the airbag compartment. Um, it's a good idea to open up the pack itself so that we are able to lay the flap of the airbag compartment completely on its side. So undo your compression straps, open up the inside of the bag. Once you open it up you'll notice there is a zipper that goes along this, uh, this airbag compartment here. The idea behind this is to allow you to take the cylinder, which sits right there, in and out of the airbag compartment without having to repack your airbag. It's a good idea to open it all up and get that cylinder installed properly and uh, get make sure you understand how to repack the airbag if you do in fact need to do that in the middle of the trip or at the beginning of the season. Right here you'll see we have the rip zipper. Uh, this is the best way to get into the airbag compartment. From there you can just pull open that zipper you disconnect the two sides of the zippers from each other then this sits nice and open for you to work. We'll fold out our airbag. Here we have our ejector which is uh, looks a little different than our 1.0 system and uh, we still have the connection piece which is kind of held by this nice hang tag there. See this is your trigger nut and this is the trigger cover case so uh, both pieces are very important to hook up to the cylinder. Alright so first move here is to hook up the trigger. Uh, we hook this up first that way it's going to be a little bit easier for us to make sure we're not cross threading anything and it makes it a little bit easier to then hook up to our ejector. So screw this guy on. Finger tightness is good. If you do put too much pressure on it and cause this pin here to spin, then the, uh, it's likely the cylinder will deploy. So careful there. Uh, just hand tightness is fine. We're gonna put our trigger cover casing on. And like that, it is armed and ready to go. So at this point, you, know, you might want to make sure that your trigger is not out so that it doesn't get pulled for any reason and uh, deploy the cylinder when you're not expecting it. Instead of the air hose, now we have our ejector um, connection is directly to the source. So you'll notice that hooks in very similar to our previous system, that air hose pull back on the collar there, it should snap in. Then you have this nice orange gauge here that's gonna clip on to the back side of that collar, which is gonna prevent that from unhooking itself for any reason. So good double check here uh, just to make sure that it is hooked up properly so that when the cylinder does deploy, the air goes into the airbag and starts this venturi system. So. Once that's hooked up, push the cylinder into its designated pocket, zip it up. We also have a nice Velcro strap that goes along the collar of the cylinder. And that's just going to keep it nice and sturdy right there. Like that, the cylinder is hooked up, ready to go. Airbag is ready to fire. So our next step is to repack the airbag. When repacking the 2.0 system, which uh, is not compatible, this canister is not compatible with the 1.0 system. 
Uh, even though the attachments all look very similar, uh, you cannot, they're not, they're not cross compatible. So you're not able to use the 2.0 cylinder with your 1.0 pack and vice versa. The main thing when you're repacking the 2.0 system is to really make sure you get as much air out of the airbag as possible. So in order to release air out of the airbag, we have a valve, which is inside this Venturi here. If you stick your finger down into this Venturi, you'll feel that there is a little flap, which is the valve. Um, it should be pretty noticeable once you, if you do have pressure on the airbag, that you are initiating the valve there. So the best move at the start is to hold up the airbag. Roll it pretty tight, get into this venturi here, put some pressure on it, and really try to get all the air out of the airbag. Now we're just going to be following the illustrations of how the airbag needs to be folded. It's a little bit different than the 1.0 system where we have kind of a specific way of folding the airbag so that you're able to get as quick of a deployment as possible. Just follow the seven steps. Um, pretty straightforward. One, we'll fold. Two here. Another, we'll fold back. Three, small little corner fold. Fourth step is to fold over the other side here. Fifth part, small fold back. And then this is where it gets a little tricky. If you've done it correctly, uh, the sixth step, the two sides should line up. I'm showing you that you, that's a good spot to fold it over. So I'll fold it all the way over the bag. And then the seventh step is to fold it back. It's ready to get stuffed inside the pack. I'll just kind of lay my arm over it to keep it nice and secure. Maybe put my body on top of it just to really get as much air out of there as possible. Now I'm going to fold this system back and just kind of tuck it all in. Now once it's tucked in, get the zipper started. And now I'm just zipping up the pack. Let's get past that rip zipper point. It's a good idea to throw the Velcro on there. And then I'm just kind of stuffing the sides and the edges in a little bit. The fold is still there, so it's not something that I'm really messing with too much here, but just to kind of get the pack. Not put too much pressure on either side of the zipper. Fold it in. And it should pretty easily zip up if, you know, sometimes it gets caught on the airbag flap there, you know, like it did right there, but just take your time. No need to be super forceful with this. You will notice that on the side where you're zipping it up, there are two teeth missing here. That is actually by design. That's going to allow the airbag compartment to open up from this side of, say, that's where all the pressure um, is, it comes from initially once the cylinder is deployed. So no need to panic there. And once we get the zipper down here to the far end, we will just fold the airbag flat, make sure it's covering the zipper nice, like that, it's ready to go. Uh, one nice thing about the 2.0 system with it, the whole airbag system being kind of centralized in this compartment here, we no longer have any hoses or anything else sitting inside the main compartment of the pack. I'm able to still look inside, 
check the pressure of my cylinder. One thing you're always going to want to be sure of is always closing this zipper compartment to the airbag. That way we're able to make sure that the airbag is going to come out of the top and not out of the bottom. You have a nice little piece of Velcro there and it help keep your uh, zipper from moving at all um, while you're out in the field using the pack. Similar to your 1.0 float system, BCA recommends deploying your, your cylinder at least once a year. It's a good way to test that the inner workings of the bag are still working correctly. It's a good way to get new fresh o-rings in your cylinder and just that you understand um, and are familiar with how your pack works so that in the event that you do need to get your cylinder refilled or repack your airbag in the field, uh, you can do that and make it happen quickly. And if there are any questions that you guys come across during this process, please give BCA a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.